Hi folks, welcome back and thanks for joining. So I wanted to show you this really cool silicone tool tray that I made. And if you'll notice the colors, uh, and I made some um, things for nuts and bolts and that sort of thing in here. But, uh, okay, now the thing about silicone is uh, you can't paint it. Uh, once it's cured, uh, nothing, you can't paint silicone. But you can still color it. And I'm going to show you how. And I'm going to use just regular paint. And uh, I'm going to use an oil-based enamel. Uh, but you can also use any acrylic paint that you may have. And, of course, I'm going to thin it with uh, mineral spirits. And uh, then we're going to pour it out. And I'm going to show you how to get a nice, sharp color line there. Uh, plus, one other cool thing about this. I mean, it sticks to just about anything. Glass, it's not going to budge. A wooden table, it'll stick. But it'll also stick to metal. All right. <laughs> Let's get rolling. Bye -bye. So to give the flag a little wave, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to insert and I'm going to pour one color and then I'm going to pour the other. And to do that, you have to do that one at a time. So I have a, a roll of vinyl here and this is used in uh, roofing applications, that sort of thing. I'm just going to roughly cut off a piece here that I think will be enough. And then I'm going to simply shape it a little bit to fit inside here. And then I'm going to backfill it with uh, some modeling clay. And this is just regular gray modeling clay that has sat for a very long time. And it's gotten very hard, so I'm going to have to uh, work this back up just a little bit more and soften it up so they can work it again. So to bring this back, I guess the only trick that I know how to, to share is that you just want to put just a little bit of water in here, not too much, and just slowly work it back into uh, a clay, and this is a Not a quick process. And if we let that sit just even a little bit more, it's going to, uh, the water is going to disperse even more into the dried chunks that were inside there. So it will be smooth and a nice consistency in just a few minutes. But... All right, so for this, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to backfill one side of this with the clay. And that way when I pour the silicone, I'll have a smooth side to start with.
out just great. Uh, I made a second sample here. This is the one you saw me make here. And uh, it's very spongy, very squishy. And uh, so what I did was I, I made another sample for you folks here. And it's uh, it's less squishy. It's it's more to the consistency of what the uh, silicone that comes out of the tube would be. So it's uh, it is uh, uh, flexible, just like silicone. And the the difference here is I used a good bit more of the cornstarch in here than I did in here. Uh, this took uh, considerably longer to dry, nearly overnight, and this one uh, uh, raced right past it and uh, cured within a few hours. So that's how you deal with that. Now, the the uh, trade-off for using more cornstarch is that you lose the some of the pouring viscosity. So just be aware of that. So everything is great. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take what I have here, what I've learned, and I'm going to finish my little project here. Now, hopefully the clay hasn't dried up too much. And uh, as usual, you got to fix it just a little bit if you don't use your clay right away. If you let it soak it overnight, you're going to have to fix it. But what I've done here is I've added a couple of little things in here that I'm going to uh, do with this. One important thing is this magnet. Now this magnet is a uh, it's a rare earth magnet. Uh, don't make me try to pronounce it. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, this came out of a uh, one of the old hard drives, the uh, Winchester Technology hard drives where the heads moved. And this, is, every one of those drives has two of these magnets. It's a stator magnet for the uh, back and forth of the, uh, they're very strong uh, because the, the stator has to be very, very precise. So extremely strong magnets, two of them. I'm going to use one of them in here so that... Uh, my tool tray is going to be uh, magnetic. Just clean off anything inside your mold. This is the first pour right here. This, this area here we're going to pour first. And if I don't forget, I'm going to put the magnet in before I begin. Okay, just working on that, working on that scoop right there a little bit, just trying to even it out very nicely there. Uh, kind of like that. Now wherever your, wherever this doesn't fill, your clay has to do the job. So uh, you want to make sure that your clay line is straight and nice also. And this one is not. It doesn't want to go all the way to the bottom. There we are. Okay, so. Okay, so you folks probably saw it here first. I am the... Uh, Ziploc bag guy. I use the Ziploc to uh, mix my silicone batches up in, thin it, color it. Well, this is the first time I've ever colored it. This is a this is a brand new thing for me.
And that went on for quite some time until we got to the point where it is a nice rich cold yellow. So consistent throughout. So now we're going to uh, add the mineral spirits. I've never measured before but today I guess I will. This is a uh, This is, I have no idea. It appears to be about a quarter of a cup. And yeah, okay. So this is a quarter cup. And uh, it has a fiddly thing on the end that fits perfectly inside this other fiddly thing. So they sort of kind of look like they go together. So the two fiddly things get along. All right. Prop things up a bit. Right off the bat, I'm going to go for two of these. We'll go for two more. So that brings us to... One cup mineral spirits to a full tube so far. We shall see. Now, I would think that uh, when it comes to pouring, you know, you want to hit a, a good consistency, but uh, you have to remember you have to go a little farther than what you think because the cornstarch will add a little stiffness to it right away. Put it right back in. So, and at that point, you cannot add any more mineral spirits. Uh, it'll just lump up on you like nobody's business. So you have to a little past the consistency that you think you want. A little runnier than you would think like. Because you can always stiffen it back up to where you want with the cornstarch. Okay, so it's dried overnight. Looks pretty good. Get a couple of these pulled out of here. And you can see what I was after now, sort of, where I make little uh, 
cubbies for tools and parts and that sort of thing. And it is really rough looking. <laughs> okay, and now for the, uh, you know, you can reuse this clay, so I'm just going to lay it right there for right now. And here we go. One thing I did want to do is to make a, a clean line for the the yellow and the and the blue and I have managed that this is a very nice edge here I'll clean it up a little bit because the clay is falling on it and I don't want to smear it in too much but uh, there we have it and I'll clean this up just a little bit and we're going to pour the blue next All cleaned up and ready to go. Okay. Just make sure we don't have any water. And we'll mix up the next batch. And for this, the blue. Yeah, I keep moving this bottle of acrylic paint around uh, because I wanted to tell you that the acrylic paint also works. And uh, what I'm using here is uh, this says oil-based enamel. So, but I've tested this, and it also works. As a matter of fact, here's my little test strip right here. So it. Uh, it does just fine. So. There was one kind of paint that did not work, and that was something called puffy paint. I don't know if that's popular, but it didn't work. In my original sample, I really loaded up the paint, and it didn't seem to have any detrimental effect on it at all. All right, so there we have it. Uh, sky blue and golden wheat. And uh, designed specifically to stick to things like perhaps a uh, 
slightly damaged tank that could be repaired and thrown back at the uh, people that sent them in the first place. Just one idea. Uh, I have a little experiment going on here that we're going to show you next week or in the next video. Uh, it's a little aluminum ball and it floats. And the buoyancy is quite good. I'm going to do something that w with this in the next video. So stay tuned. Bye-bye now.